ballerina Ana de Armas John Wick universe. It's finally here. I am going to give you my black belt breakdown because I am a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you are a John Wick universe fan, you know, you've been waiting a few years for this. It got delayed a year. In fact, it was supposed to come out uh, spring of 2024. Now, June of 2025. What I want to do is something a little different. There's some uh, some nice martial arts here. So I want to hit a, hit the hit those couple of scenes with you guys and explain what's going on. But what's really interesting is the dialogue in which one of the teachers, one of her early teachers, uh, uh, tells her, which is very martial arty. But let me just uh, lay lay this on you guys. This takes place during the events of John Wick Three, Parabellum, ballerina follows Eve Macaro on Adarmas, who's beginning to train, who's beginning her training in the assassination, in the assassin traditions of Rusca Roma. And so that's the timeline there. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing someone early on uh, start their, their training. And it also stars Angelica Houston, Gable Byrne, Lance Riddick, Carl, uh, Catalina Sandino Moreno, Norman Reedus, and Ian McShane, with a appearance from Lance Reddick, rest in peace, and of course Keanu Reeves, fantastic cast. Everyone looks amazing. So now let's go to that scene. Okay, let's let's go let's go first to what Nogi this this uh, this character here is saying to I believe is her. It's kind of, kind of, it's kind of cut. So I think story wise, it might kind of just like jumps, jump cuts it in a put puts it together for the trailer. So let's just listen to what she what she has to say. To stop the assassin, you must become. You must become the assassin. So here she is in her school. What I what I would obviously with a you know with a schoolmate there. And looking down, you see Angelica Houston walking down the stairs with John Wick. So again, this is the Become timeline the of uh, Paramount. You will always be weaker. Be weaker. You will always be smaller. You always be smaller. You want to win. You want to win. Improvise. Improvise. Adapt. Adapt. Cheat. Yes. Okay, 100%. <clears throat> now, this is what we teach, guys. We teach, um, or, or the way I really kind of just approach martial arts is: what is your body body type, and what, and depending on who you go against, you're gonna have to improvise. You're gonna have to adapt. You're gonna have to change your strategy every time you face a different uh, opponent. Just makes sense. And here she's saying, because you're little, because maybe you're not so you know, muscularly stronger than the opponent, which is going to happen, you're really going to have to improvise. You're really going to have to adapt. You, and yes, you will have to cheat. So what I say in class is we, we, we teach the jujitsu in class, but then we're like, okay, well, what if we're out in the streets? Because there are no rules on the streets. There are no rules. So that being said, what I'm seeing here is right on point. Now, I want to back up because I'm, uh, I wanted to see her, you know, Ana de Armas take a swing. Now, listen, really fast, really fast. As a star, as a star, guys, this is Ana's best role. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited. She fits right in. This is her role. I cannot wait. And uh, we got a little taste of that when she did the James Bond role. And now you're going to see it in all its glory. So on that point, I'm all with it. But as a as a black belt, I want to see a couple things here. Let's go back to her. The gun work, I really can't speak to. But what I can see is is how she uh, how she become how she's throwing a punch. Okay, here we go. The assassin. So she's obviously learning different martial arts, different training, different fighting technique, and because she throws a kick. I assume against the bag, this is some sort of uh, Muay Thai, right? Kickboxing style. Become the assassin. You will always be weaker. All right. Um, 
I think this 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 the second shot here for me looks a little looks a little odd. Yes, yes, yes. So she's got a so that's a a real quick uh, jab. It's kind of a lower mid range shot, but then she uses the same uh, jab, which is a left. So she's a righty, and she goes high, and it almost looks like a um uh uh not a straight shot. Let me take a look at this. Okay, yeah. So it's like a quick temple shot and it's all arm so i'm not really seeing her body behind it so it looks a little funky you will always be yeah. weaker you will always always be small and now with the with the with the kick i'm looking for her hips to turn you will always be weaker um that's not bad. That's not bad. And let's just say it's her. Uh, I'd like to see her shin turn in more towards the uh, the bag, um, and not so much. And I'm going off this lighting, and not, and I can't see how her foot's turned. But usually, when you throw in these types of kicks, you want to hit uh, shin bone to to face, where your toes are are parallel to the ground. You don't want your toes perpendicular so this looks like it's a little perpendicular which is a little not perfected so maybe this is her training though let me i can tell you the way that she moves her arms here that's how you generate power so that's legit you will you will you want to generate that power with your hips you and your arm movement but also too, you, um, you want to um you want to uh protect your face so that's why when you're throwing a punch or a kick that's when you're most vulnerable so they teach you here um yes, yes, yes. when you throw defend right that's why you always have your hands up so even here her hands are a little low will always be weaker and that's just a nice that's just a nice back shot uh uh, fortune favors the brave. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, listen, depending on where she is on her training and the storyline, I'm giving this all like, you know, like a B minus, not bad. And it, you know, I realize, uh, you will always be small. Okay. Before we get to, before we get to what looks like to be, uh, judo, which is really cool judo and some jujitsu. Uh, yeah, I give it a, I give it like a B minus. It's, uh, it looks legit. If they show more of it, I'm really going to be interested to see how it, how it is. But also, too, story wise, if this is like in the beginning of her training, even better. Uh, this is definitely what I saw is definitely not someone with polished moves. Like you, you know, you're you're an expert expert. This looks like it is a mix of karate, judo, and jujitsu. Uh, just because you'll see where they have an open hand, maybe even Taekwondo, um, but just like a general mix. I'm, I'm sure it's like a general mix. Provide. Improvise. So, I mean, look, that's a, that's, that's a very telepathic, you know, you're, you're tele, telegramming it. You could, the guy can see that coming a mile away, especially with, your her Improvise. her front arm her front arm is down and she's uh yeah i'm not i'm not too happy about that one it's easy to block that's why it's easy to block okay Adapt. but then she adapts right i mean for film wise look i get it i'm saying adapt play dirty with such a street fight kicking where the sun don't shine now now he's hurt so what she's going to do is she's going to do a jump kind of, I forgot the, the exact judo sweep, what's it called? But it's like a, it's almost like a fireman's throw where she's going to throw him over her shoulder. But she's got to jump and wrap around his waist. And then as, as, she's, as she's rolling back, her lower hand is going to grab his nearest pant leg, which is, which is really cool. 
right? There you go. Nice. See, when you when you grab the pant leg, you control it. And if you could control the pant leg, you control the leg, you control the hip, and they really can't move. And that that really, because you have the gi, you have the uniform, it doesn't matter how big or small you are. This is legit. This is straight up legit. Now she's in a full mount. Uh, she does have her knees up. So she's, you know, we like to get our knees down, but she's in a great position. Let's see what she does. Cheat. Okay. So I assume here, maybe they, maybe, you know, that was the, they ended run when she had a full mount. She dismounts and she just does a dirty, you know, maybe he said something shitty to her, you know, but uh, this is really nice. This is really nice. I don't know if this is her. This is this is a this is a you know this is not a play around move, and it's in real time, meaning that it's not. Uh, there's no way to edit around it because it's like you're seeing it from uh, head to toe. Uh, maybe it's her. But see, the legs are perfect because you got to have a scissor leg. One's got to go up. One's got to go down and wrap, and then you're becoming inverted. And that's where you get to pull them over. Nice move. I love that. I love that. I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, we're going to do this now. We are going to end this video for the public. And we're going to continue if you're a member of the channel. And we're going to go to uh, a couple of more martial arts breakdowns in the trailer. If you're not a member yet, Sign up right now. It's as little as $2.99 a month. You get exclusive content like what we're going to do right now. We're going to continue this conversation, have a great time, just breaking down the martial arts aspects of it. There's there's some uh, real-time uh, you know, martial arts activity that goes on in the trailer. Here she's been training, and now she's going to go out there in the real world. So we're going to cover that right now for our membership video uh, right now. And uh, come and join the party, latinoslant.com, wherever you're at. Keep your slant perfect. Gracias. Okay.